For our Facebook story of the day, several of you wanted to know more about brown recluse spider bites. Doctors believe Amanda Hilderman of Novinger was likely bitten by one of the poisonous spiders about two weeks ago, but they can't say for certain without taking a tissue sample. The spider bit Hilderman on the calf. She told me she thinks it probably happened while she slept. The bite didn't cause her any pain at first, and several days later she just happened to notice a pea-sized bruise on her calf. It was little bitty but black, and I was like, well, I never bruise ever. It's hard for me to get bruises, so I'm like, that's weird. I don't know where that would have came from. And then um, probably two days later, it started spreading out, and then it turned like yellowish, and it was probably half dollar size by then. Hilderman thought she had a blood clot because the bruise had a knot under it. Upon closer examination in the following day, she noticed a bite mark on the wound, and it was gradually getting a red ring around it and swelling. When it got to this stage, Hilderman's mom and grandmother finally convinced her to go to the doctor, where she got a shot and antibiotics. She returned to the doctor today, and he told her the wound seems to be healing well thanks to the antibiotics. Here's what a brown recluse looks like. To give you an idea of the size, this one is standing over a U.S. quarter. The adults have a dark-colored violin-shaped marking immediately behind their eyes. If you're ever bitten by one of these poisonous spiders, experts say to seek medical attention immediately.